Hello everyone welcome to my channel UK Immigration and Visa Updates Today update we will talk about and share with you a latest news about Long Residence ILR If you are a non-UK national and have lived in the United Kingdom continuously and lawfully for 10 years You may qualify for indefinite leave to remain ILR, in the UK on the basis of long residence Requirements for ILR on grounds of long residence In order to qualify for indefinite leave to remain on the ground of long residence, you will need to satisfy UK visas and immigration that you have spent a period of at least 10 years residing in the United Kingdom continuously and lawfully, and your 10-year period of lawful residence is unbroken. And there are no public interest reasons why it would be undesirable to grant you indefinite leave to remain. And there are no general grounds for refusing your application, such as a relevant criminal conviction. And you have demonstrated sufficient knowledge of the English language and about life in the United Kingdom. And you are not in the United Kingdom in breach of immigration laws. You will have a break in your residence if at any time during the period relied upon, you were absent from the UK for more than 18 months in total, or you were removed or deported from the UK, or you left the UK having been refused leave to enter or remain. You evidenced a clear intention not to return to the UK on leaving, or you left the UK with no reasonable expectation of being able to return lawfully or you were sentenced to a period of imprisonment, not suspended, or directed to be detained, or you were absent from the UK for more than six months at any one time, or you were absent from the UK for less than six months but had no leave either upon departure or return, or both. When assessing whether there are any public interest reasons why it would be undesirable to grant you indefinite leave to remain, the Home Office will consider the following factors, your age, the strength of your connections in the UK, your personal history, e.g. character, conduct, associations, and employment record, your domestic circumstances, any compassionate circumstances, and any representations submitted on your behalf.